Mate, wh what? What are you doing? Why are you sitting around here lounging like some kind of expectant pervert? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, you should be up and you know out. No, who sits in the sunshine drinking sodding coffee? Well, and there are all these beautiful women around. So, <coughs> what do you think of her then? She seems quite forward. Nice rack. Gotcha. Yeah, but you know, the thing I like about Sally is that she's not just a good pair of boobs, you know? Got a great arse. It's not quite what I meant. And her name's Samantha. Ah, oh, mate, details, details. Look, have you... have you got any Johnnies? No. Oh, what? You've used them all up, have you? I know, I know. I'm biding my time. I'm like a cobra, just waiting for the right time to strike. Mate, you sound like a sex pest. Anyway, I'm gonna go and see if I can find some, all right? Hey, is this seat taken? No, you can take it. You look like you could use some company. I'm Kimmy. Michael. <laughs> Oh, um, sorry, I think my friend is calling me back. Time to move on, I think. Yeah. Bye. Jeez. What the fuck was that? The hell? I thought you were going to look for some Johnnies or something. Yeah, yeah, but then I thought I'd stick around and see how the young cobra struck when that beautiful woman was coming over the... Mate, that's my cue. Uh, so I'm gonna go get me. Sammy! Oi, son of a bitch, get back here! Oi! Oi! Get back here, you son of a bitch! I'm gonna kill you, fool! Fuck. I. You're. You're dead. Technically. This is a dream. Put yourself together, Michael. Michelle, this is real. It is not a dream. The... Seriously, this is some Chris Nolan shit or something. Is Leonardo DiCaprio gonna come out with his serious, scraggly little acting Stop. beard and. You're badgering on. People are going to think you're mad. How? Turns out to some extreme philandering on my part, I'm not exactly eligible for heaven just yet. No, the big man sent me back down here with a good deed. What good deed? And <laughs> why are you in your pants? Oh, this? This is just what I was wearing when I died. And the good deed. More like Mission Impossible. Can you believe this? I actually have to get you laid. 
No, Denver. Hey, don't call me that. I don't even let him call me that. You know the rules. I'm deadly serious. Heaven help the man who added such an irksome moniker. And unless you hadn't noticed, heaven's on my side. Really? Doesn't exactly seem like the good Lord has taken a shine to you. Aren't you on the brink of being banished to the fires of eternal damnation for your earthly sins? Look, enough of your lip, okay? Details never got anyone anywhere. I have to get you laid, okay? No, not okay. I don't need your help. Mike. Michael. Mikey. There is a plethora of vulnerable, attractive, beautiful, easy women in there. And who have you spent all day with? Your mother. Someone had to do it. Your father's treating your multitude of exes like his personal buffet. The man's <laughs> insatiable. Oh, good old dad. Anyway, I've told you before, I'm biding my time. I'm like a... Yeah, Cobra. Got it. Look, all of that is irrelevant, Michelangelo, because until we get you some hot piece of ass, I'm stuck here, with you. In my pants. So, Micarini, you ready? Yeah, I guess so. You know what to say. Yeah. But what was that other line that you referred to as dropping the bomb? You want to drop the bomb? Yeah. I'll give it a go. <laughs> hey, you're not ready for the bomb. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Only true masters can handle the awesome power of the bomb. Okay, I just thought... No, 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 you didn't. You just thought you were thinking. Now go. Unleash the cobra, young one. Make me proud. Hi, I'm Michael. Your friend ruined my party. Yeah, I'm, I'm Michael. Really cool and hip and... Man. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Seriously, mate. I really wasn't ready. That was awful. I knew it. You have the same look on your face that Casanova had when I tried to teach him. Casanova. Yeah, right. Hey, maybe I should uh, go and speak to that guy over there. What should I say? Can I help you there, buddy? Why not? Crying women. They're my kryptonite. The time has come. The one where the guy got hit by a learner driver doing a 3.10. Oh, right. Wasn't he your friend? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, I thought I'd need some counts. Um, what's up with you? Someone stole my bag. Um, I can't find my friend, and my phone was on my bag. You can use mine. If you know the number. No. Maybe I can buy you a drink. Cheer you up. That's sweet, but I think I'm gonna head home. Listen, don't let it ruin your day. A pretty face like yours would be wasted locked up at home. One drink. Okay. Thanks. JD and lemonade, please. So, I says to Mabel. I says, um, actually I think it's the time we left. Someone's very forward. No, I mean, I, well, I don't mean it like that. Oh, really? That bouncer's looking at us like he wants us to leave. I didn't think Pub shut at five. Really? <laughs> I think he looks more like he wants to go home with you. More reason for us to leave. Come on, clock's ticking. <laughs> How am I going to get in? No keys. Well, you can come back to mine if you want. You know, until someone can let you in. Hmm. Okay. 
but no funny business, mister. Oh, shit, I forgot my jacket. I'll get it. Hey, Mikhail. What, still alone? What happened to the damsel in distress? She's outside, actually. Oh, yeah. Forgot her jacket. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. You're not going to leave me alone again, are you? You have no idea how boring it is being dead. Wasn't the whole point of this to help me get a girl? Yeah, but I... But now that I've found her, you want me to ditch her to hang out with you? A ghost. In his pants. Yeah. Thank God, my keys! Oh, I can get in. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a relief. Thanks for the offer. And for today, I, I actually had fun. Well, I'd, I'd better go. Bye! Tough break, Mickey. So we're gonna have to find you another girl. Where'd you live? End of King's Road. I live there too. No, you don't. Share a taxi? Are you sure? Of course. You live in the opposite direction. Won't cost us any more. We'll get a lift to yours and I'll walk the rest of the way. Won't take long. Yeah, not if you jump on the roof of the cab. You live miles away. Okay, sure. Taxi! Wow. Nice place. You've never seen it? No, I no. you lived here. No. I, I live on a street where there's uh, a hill and... Um, my window doesn't exist, and also, I don't have any blinds. Not that, um, uh, um... You don't live near here, do you? Not exactly. How far have you got to go back? Hmm. Well, if I head towards the horizon now... <laughs> Look. Why don't you come up to mine, I'll call you a cab, and you can wait. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to slip into something more comfortable. I'll be right back. Did you come from? Well, you didn't seriously think I was going to let you screw this one up, did you? I'm not going to leave the fate of my soul in your hands. How did you get in? I'm not entirely sure on that one. Hey! Hey, Mikey! Oh, put it back! <laughs> no way, man, we can use that. Hey, let me see what else she's got. What do you mean we can use this? <laughs> I'm not saying we can use this as well. What the hell are you? Um, I just spilt my coffee. Okay. What's that behind your back? Uh, what the uh, fuck? Um, um, nothing. I just. It was an accident. Oh I've my just God. found it. Mine. Get the fuck out of my house! No! Very much for that, mate. What? Yes. You single-handedly managed to transform that lovely girl's opinion of me from a knight in shining armour to a potential sex offender in a matter of seconds. In what universe did you think arming me with a bloody dildo was going to help win her heart? Listen, Mika, you've hardly been swamped with women during your formative years, whereas I, on the other hand, have had considerably more experience in hunting the elusive poon. And that's another thing I'm finding difficult to understand. I don't believe that our Father who art in heaven has set you the task of getting me laid, as you so eloquently put it, before you allowed a place in his eternal sanctuary. What were his actual instructions, by the way? Well, he said something about getting you loving, or words to that effect. Words to that effect. Could it be possible that his actual instructions were something more along the lines of help him find love? I don't follow. That's what I said. 
No, Denver. That's exactly why you're stood here before me now, undead and naked. You think sex and love are one and the same? Well, I've got news for you, Denver Casper Belvedere. They are not. Don't even know why I'm still holding this. Caffeine in you. Always did work better when you were awake. Honey, have you seen my instrument? Do you mean your dildo? Are you taking it out clubbing with you? No. In fact, I highly doubt that Mother would appreciate me bringing a birthday present and a dildo to her door. Paolo, sweetie, I love you, but please, I don't want your sex toys in the communal area of the house, okay? It won't happen again. So? Did you see it? You better not have hidden it, or thrown it away, or recycled it like the last one. If I had found it, I certainly wouldn't have touched it, let alone held it long enough to throw it out. End of discussion, okay? All right, fine. <laughs> oh, fuck. Still not talking to me then, eh? We'll see about that. You know that uh, dildo belongs to a dude, right? What? Yep. So that's a good in, you know, if you want to see Kimmy again. Just a thought. Okay. Firstly, I hate you. Secondly, I hate you. How the devil did you come by this information? What have I told you about details? Come on now, it's time to get up. If you're going to get that girl of your dreams, I'm going to sharpen you up. No, DC. No more of your games. I'm too tired and fed up. Michael Edward Holland. The girl of your dreams is out there. And every second that goes by is another second you risk losing her forever. Now, for the love of that big guy that I met up there in the sky, get the shit out of bed and go get her. Okay. We got any coffee? I don't know. Check your secret pot over there at that stash. Don't take the name of the Lord in vain. Since when did you care? You know that little, ooh, you can't get into heaven because you've been a naughty boy thing? Yeah, since then. The little things have kind of become more important somehow. You were never one for details. Look, do you want to ramble on? Because right now you're the one who's technically more naked. You know, towels don't actually count as clothes. How am I supposed to face the world decaffeinated? I'm not going anywhere. You're not taking me. You're not the king of me. 
Stop your whining. Look, do you want to be alone forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever? And okay, ever? enough. No, of course I don't. Where are you taking me anyway? Matt, no details. Come on, get dressed. Chop, chop. You know, if you need coffee, it's that place. Just putting it out there. I'm just gonna stay here, you know, enjoy the fresh air, sort of thing. Yeah? Hi. Hey. Look, I'm really... Listen, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the other night. It's, it's okay, really. I overreacted. I, I kind of figured out what happened. I was, I was just so freaked out at the time. Understandably so. Yeah, but I know what happened now. Sort of. <laughs> a bit weird, but everything was just a, a big misunderstanding. Thanks. I'll let you get back to work. See you around. Hey. I get off at four. Come meet me. Yeah. Great. Am I good? Or am I good? I've got to admit, I am impressed. Thanks, Denver, for everything. Don't ever call me that, okay? I don't even let him call me that. Oh, and uh, remember, be good to her, or I might get kicked out again, yeah?